What's up everybody? Andrew Maxwell from the Southern Outdoorsman here. We're here with Brian from Breadcrumb Technologies. So Brian, I'm going to let you take it from here because I don't know a whole lot about it. But I appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you and everybody else about it. Um, what we've done at Breadcrumb is we've created the first really uh, connected devices for the outdoor for what we do with bow hunting and, and some of our products work great for all kinds of hunters but we have uh, developed the first Bluetooth trackable knock and so what this knock does in addition to doing everything a normal lighted knock does it's connected to your phone via our app you can own as many devices as you want each one is individually named and that device itself um, is very easy to use it's literally one button push to arm it it's ready to go for six hours once it's fired, the accelerometer within the chip immediately fires the knock, and after 30 seconds, it'll start flashing because you can see that flash a lot easier than you can see a solid uh, light from from a naked eye. So, so it flies to the air as a normal lighted knock. Yep. Gives it 30 seconds, and it'll start blinking. Exactly okay. right. Yeah. Now, once that starts happening, everything is different than a normal lighted knock. Yeah. The cool thing is inside this this uh, knock, we have a chip that has an accelerometer that works to help fire it. It's got a Bluetooth radio chip, it's got a sound chip and speaker, uh, and it's got a bunch of software. So what that does is once you connect to your phone, uh, initially and you fire this, it gives you a proximity indication of where that device is at. It shows you on the map the last known location of that device. It allows you to then share that device with anybody that you want. So from a knock standpoint, you arrow a big buck and you can't get on blood, but you got five guys with you in camp. You can share that exact knock, you've named it, you know, Killer Knock 1, whatever it is, some goofy name. <laughs> the killer. Yeah, the killer. <laughs> you've shared that specific device with those guys in camp. Now, you can each go 50, 75 yards apart and start looking for that. As soon as one phone picks up that Bluetooth signal, all the phones are updated, and now you guys know you're really close. You're within 50 yards of this knock. And you can use the sound chip, the light, to help continue to activate it to find that. And at a minimum, get your knock back, but hopefully get on blood so you can go get that game that you want to harvest so badly. Um, the same technology exists in our location marker. And our location marker is really cool because what that does is it allows you to find a location or share a location with anybody you want. For example, I've lit that one up here behind you. They work great um, for tree stand locations, blinds, camera stands, blood trail markers. And really importantly, everybody should have one of these in their vest because if you're out hunting or hunting alone and you don't show back up, whoever you shared this device with, you can go right to that app, see where the last place was, get there. These actually have a range of 100 to 200 yards. And now you can get right where they're at. Once they're connected, you know how close you are, you can light that up. So if you've fallen, busted a leg, tried to crawl back to the truck, and frankly passed out and your phone's already dead and you're hiding behind a bush, we may never find you, but we can light that whole bush up, we can hear that sound happening, and we can get that, you know, that, that, that get you recovered instead yeah, of the animal. Absolutely. You know, and more importantly, when you get out of the tree and you're actually safe and sound, you just pull this thing out, you're on a blood trail, you want to back out, you can literally put this on the last drop of blood, and you can send it, hey Brian, I gotta go to work tomorrow, I just shared that device with you, can you go get on that blood trail and see if you can track that deer for me? So the versatility and the sharing of this connected device is what's really, really neat. Um, and so we've had a lot of success. Uh, we launched and started shipping in June of this year. We launched here last year with some pre-sales and did some different things, and we've learned a lot, continued to improve the app and the software. We eventually, I'm kind of a geek for technology, eventually we hope to have the same tracking app on your, your watch so it tells you how far you are oh, opposed okay. you can activate the light and sound. These are just some really neat things that we're looking at. But uh, you can find more information at breadcrumbtech.com. Uh, you can buy these hopefully at your local bow shop and if they don't have them, have them contact us and we'd love to sell them to them. Um, and uh, we just appreciate you guys stopping by. Absolutely. Now I got two quick questions before we go. I'm full of answers. So with the uh, with the knock specifically. Yep. Um, how water resistant is it for people who might be hunting in a more swampy area? You know, if you shoot something or if you miss and it skids through some water but hits yep. dry ground, is it going to kill it? It's water resistant, but you don't want to submerge this one, uh -huh. right? The great thing about the location marker is it can stay out in the field all season long. Snow, rain, sleet, it's water resistant. You can actually, we put it in water and left it there for a day or two and lit it up and it works fine. This is really a computer inside your knob. We've engineered a lot around this button.
to keep it watertight, but you can't submerge it in water. It's just not going to work. And nor can you do that with a normal leaded knot or your iPhone for that matter. It may be water resistant, but you put that in water and it's yeah. not going to work after a little yeah. bit. So, um, what's your second question? So now the second part of that question would be: Let's say that you you stick a big buck, you hit him in the shoulder, he runs off and busts off his arrow, you know, in some flooded timber. So yeah, you've got this much water on the ground. Uh, if your arrow goes down in the water and it does get screwed up, do you still have that last known location of your arrow? Or uh, So the way that it works is this is not GPS enabled. There's uh -huh. no way to fit that technology in there. Inside if we did, it thing. would be a subscription service. You'd need some kind of cell connectivity. And it'd be a lot more expensive. And you'd be paying expensive. that, and it'd be a couple <laughs> hundred bucks. Yeah. So what it does is when your phone connects, that's what updates the last known location, right? Oh, okay. So okay. If, if it connects with your phone, and it's going further out, further out, and he does that at 50 yards, well, you're going to know where that's at. But you do have to get closer to it to connect. So, you know, the idea is... Um, 90% of the applications, you're going to be just fine. Yeah. But if it's watering, it's wet, and you think you're going to be submerged, maybe not the right device, this certainly still is going to be the right device. Because, you know, the great thing about this, another example of, of uh, how fantastic these are, I, at my least, I can invite you to come hunt a specific stand based on the wind and based on what's shown up on the camera. I can just share that device with you. Based on the map, you can go straight there, and you can get in. So whether it's your buddy or even I have stands I've hunted already that stand this year, and I've hunted it three times last year. Yeah. At five in the morning, I'm walking in, and I know exactly where it's at. And for some reason, I'm going 10 yards that way, 20 oh, yards yeah. that way. I'm We've sticking up there. the place. <laughs> We've all been there. This, I walk in, and I'm 100 yards away. I hit it, and it flashes one time, or as many times as I want. And I can go straight in, quiet and clean. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a buddy you're hunting with, you don't have to walk them in, and then you walk out. Yeah. Right? And so... Um, even in those applications, this is what's great because it, it runs off the same software. It's all free. If I share it with you, you get a link, you hit the link, it automatically downloads everything, and you're all set. Um, and so, uh, you know, it sounds like you have a lot of wet applications. Yeah. You know, should be okay, but once yeah. again, any piece of technology you don't want to put on the Oh, bar. yeah, it's a computer, like yeah. you said. It's yeah. literally a computer chip. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time trying to get it right. Absolutely. We well, think it's there. Man, I think this is a really cool product, both of them. I think this is great for helping people recover more game. And I think that's great for helping people stay safe and just helping us find our way around because we've all been lost in the swamp a time or two in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Brian, awesome. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. You guys have a great show. Thanks so much. man.